It's just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment right, that's all. No, it's not. I don't really even give a care. You don't belong here, and I don't want to be recorded. I don't belong in public? That's weird. No, I don't. You're I'm an American recording. citizen, are you? Recording. Then go back to North Korea, then. Sorry. So is it we don't belong here, or we, we're not supposed to record? I'm talking about recording. Okay. We're allowed to record, sir. You have a gorgeous day. Ma'am, why would you call me names? I didn't call you strange looking. I might think you are, but I didn't say it. See, I don't, what is going on here? I'm gonna call the sheriff. You can call the sheriff, ma'am. We're just exercising our rights in a very peaceful manner. Am I supposed to ignore this? If you didn't want to be noticed or recognized on film, then yes, you should have just ignored us. Yes, absolutely. Just pretend we're not here. While they film me. Yes. And no telling what they're gonna do when they well, if you ask, I would tell you what we're doing with the footage. Let me just take the box. Let me, let me. I'll see. You have to buy the pavement? Would you like to know what we're doing with the footage? No, I don't want to talk to you anymore, okay? okay? All right. Then you shouldn't have talked to us in the first place. Well, you do look pretty weird. So do you. Here. I think you look very weird as well. But Why? we're all weird. Huh? Why do you think Why? you look weird? Because you're, you got these weird holes on your shirt. The, it's that's a like, style. Honey. Okay, it, it you makes you, it makes style? you look a little unhoused, but that's okay. I just think humans are objectively weird looking. Now you're insulting me. You insulted us first. You literally walked in here and called us weird, ma'am. I didn't start you calling look you weird. names. I mean, okay. can't you just be in regular clothes and not? So what? Your face? So why would you want to live in a society where you have control over what everybody wears? Oh my God. That's literally what you break, just suggested. Honey. That's Give what you just break. suggested. You just suggested that I need to wear something that's quote unquote normal. I don't suggest you do anything. Okay. okay. All right. Except maybe Because you definitely away. aren't wearing normal clothes. Walk away. I don't have to walk away, ma'am. But if you're going to tell me to wear normal clothes, maybe you might want to find some without holes in it. Because I think that's abnormal. I think wearing shoes with no socks with is abnormal. With a fake beard okay. like that, that's abnormal So you too. think somebody with cancer or alopecia shouldn't have the privilege of wearing fake hair if they feel like they want to have hair? You're talking hair? to somebody with cancer okay. too. Okay, so okay? then why would you pick on me then? Oh, well, because you're being okay. very insulting okay. to me. Ma'am, you walked in and called us names. I didn't call you any names. Well, you look weird. Notice it's okay that they are allowed to insult us, but if we say something along the same lines, we are the only ones in the wrong. See how it doesn't make any sense. See, there it goes again. So somebody with cancer alopecia that has to wear... What's going okay. on here? I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna call the sheriff. You can go ahead and do that. They'll give you an education because it sounds like you need one today. If you want them there quicker... You're insulting me like I'm a stupid idiot or something? Ma'am, you kind of are acting that way because you walked in and you insulted me. I, I didn't What's insult you. What's going on here? This is not... This is... I came here to, to do business at the post office, not act why. Carry on with these people. Everybody's asking you why you're here. Actually, there's 141 people came in here and didn't ask us anything. Ma'am, you don't need permission in public when you're in public. Well, why are you disguised? Because I've chosen that. That's like asking why are you why are you wearing makeup? Why are you wearing sunglasses? Why are you? I mean, I can ask you that too. How old are you? How old are you? They're 73. How old are you? Okay. Ma'am, you're the one that walked in insulting us. This cannot be real. I'm sorry you think our rights are not worth exercising, but that's that sounds like you need to maybe consider moving to China or North Korea. Well, why don't you consider going to school? Seems a lot of the older generations are programmed to think going to college is the only beneficial thing for you to do other than go get a job. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you must not be a very good attorney. People are insulting us. Wait, who's an attorney? You gotta call the sheriff. They're allowed to be here. They're not associated with the post. To annoy your customers? Ma'am, you walked in and annoyed me. I didn't say anything to you. Ma'am, I would retake the bar exam if you don't. Yeah. Leave her alone. I'm not so lawyer. I just asked for a post office. 
Come if on. you're an attorney, maybe learn the Constitution. Just, okay. Okay. He's insulted me ten times. Ma'am, you walked in. The first thing you did is insult me. I didn't even say hi to you, and you insulted me. I just asked who you were. No, you didn't. You said, "Who are these weird people?" That's an insult. No, I said you look weird. You also okay, that's ask, also an insult. You didn't ask no, us, but ma'am. that's not what I said. Before. That is what you said. I have it on camera, and you it's gonna. Weird. I okay. thought you had a costume right. on, and okay. this was a fun All thing. All right. And you look like you have a costume on. I'm not complaining yeah. about your costume. Okay. Right. You calling us He's weird? He's insulting we can't talk. us. If you're calling us weird. We the can't problem talk. is, I didn't even say anything to you. I said hello when you walked in. That's it. And then you started calling us names. I didn't. Call you weird for calling us. You weren't okay. the first person. You're yeah. the third person. Mm. Hi. 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 I will never understand that double standard. I'll yeah. say it, but you can't say it. Back. Exactly. You're horrible if you say it back to me. I'll dish out insults, but I can't hear them back. How dare! I'm older than you, so you can't disrespect me if I disrespect let's, you. Let's, yeah. let's check but. priority. It's not going far. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I probably shouldn't walk in somewhere and start. Like, so let's see. It's going to Marietta, California. Okay, that sounds good. Great. Is there a Thank you so much. Thank you. Why are you guys videotaping? Just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. Very, very important thing to do in this country. We've already lost the Second Amendment in California. How come you're in disguises? Uh, It's part of the freedom freedom to express yourselves how you choose to. What are you expressing? how I want to dress and creating my own privacy because I didn't want to be filmed in public today. Oh. So if you're going to run around in public and you're going to demand yeah. privacy in public, you have to self-create your privacy. That's all we teach people. Oh, so you're like setting an example. Yes. And that's why I'm wearing this very uncomfortable wig. And it's also to kind of bring awareness because there's people with alopecia and there's been news stories uh, about people, kids with cancer getting bullied for having wigs or fake beards on. I think that's wildly unacceptable. So I actually switched from wearing a mask like his to wearing this to kind of bring that down a notch because it's all over the news. We post it on our channel all the time where people are getting bullied out in public for wearing fake garments because they have cancer, alopecia, or some kind of face deformity. And you got people like her behind you that walk in and call them weird. And, you know, I think that's unacceptable. We shouldn't bully people in public. You don't get to decide what they get to use. You don't get to decide what they get to wear. You don't get to decide, welcome to America, what people get to wear. You can wear whatever you want, but you look like an idiot. Well, Grandma, how does it feel to be on YouTube acting like, well, an idiot? Okay, and so do you. I think having a whole... You absolutely do. It's in the middle of summer. You have a scarf. You have holes in your shirt. Like, you... I mean, come on. These are not holes. This is... The okay. Like okay. Alright. Just, just ignore him. I don't know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you walked in and just insulted us. Just do your mail. Go I didn't say a word to you and you insulted us when you walked in. So, so uh, I'm just curious. Like, um, when you're here, like, okay. um, what, what is your goal? We disseminate our interactions with the public. To other people of the public to encourage them to go out and exercise their rights. We have we've today had 141 people walk in here, not paying attention to us or be very kind to us or ask us questions, and we've only had about 14 people that decided to they don't like rights. And so you're basically trying to say like I'm in the United States Postal Office. We do this everywhere. It's not limited to the post office. Federal building. We, yesterday we're no, it's not federal. It's oh. it's public, but. Regardless, yesterday we were at City Hall. Okay. Uh, the day before we were at a Starbucks. Like it doesn't matter so where. You're wearing this, so basically you're saying like I should be able to wear this because these people are wearing this and they're being bullied and they have medical issues. That's part of it. That's one of the the, the many of prongs of what we do. We are exercising our First Amendment right to force and compel conversation about our rights in this beautiful country because there's a lot of people that don't know it. I mean, do you know the five pillars to the First Amendment? No. So that's part of the problem. I don't want to like talk about that right now. Okay. I was just curious on like why you guys. Were no, no. Here. You've been respectfully asking questions. I think she could have gotten a lot further doing the same thing, but she decided to walk in and start throwing insults. And that's fine. It's she has okay. she has a First Amendment right to insult us, but then she gets to listen to it back. I understand. And what brought all this on? I call guys? it harassment. Again, it's okay for her to harass us, but if we harass her, we shall be punished. Okay. 
Ma'am, it's not harassment if you have the ability to walk away and if you're the one that started insulting us in the first place. Exercising our rights? Yeah, like, I mean, what it is. Because somebody disseminated it to me and I got to see other people exercising their rights. I decided, yeah, I've been passionate about, you know, things like this for years. I do a lot of volunteer time on my, when I'm not doing this, uh, homeless youth organizations. Um, you know, I was raised in foster care. I became a foster parent. That's one of the other things that we do. And cool. so I advocate for people that don't have a voice in many cases. Um, I have to go to court and advocate for children that are running away from abused homes, for example. Right. Um, as a homeless youth counselor, I have to advocate for kids that have been kicked out of their home for whatever reason. So you feel you're like you're advocating for the kids that are getting bullied. All of it. There's adults that actually have, there's adults that have alopecia that they have to wear this or they have a facial scar that, and they have a fake beard or they have the painted in beard. And people, people like her will walk in and be like, oh, they look so weird. That's the reason for the me, I'm just stating fact. You walked in and said we looked weird. So I'm just saying if you did well, that. You have to, a fake beard on. Okay. But what if somebody, Halloween? what if somebody has to have a fake beard on to cover up a deformity? That's not okay in your book? That's, that's oh, okay. Yes. I think it's weird to walk around bullying people. That's what I think is weird. You absolutely are. To walk in and call somebody a name is absolutely bullying. That is the very definition of bullying. What do you want to do about it? What do you mean? I'm just explaining. You you're you're a bully. It? That's it. I'm educating. You're harassing everybody. No, because tomorrow morning you're going to be on TikTok and you're going to be famous for being a bully, and that's fine. That's the choice that you. TikTok okay. And that's fine. But that's the decision you made today to walk in and bully somebody. What happened? Do you have to put me on TikTok? Do we what? Do you have to put me on TikTok? We're putting everybody. We we, we have we're on all the platforms. Do I have to be we put everybody, all of our, all of our experiences. That's why we do the filming. Not in America. When there's no expectation of privacy, you can be filmed and it can be put anywhere. So do you understand? Like, if you go on TikTok or YouTube right now, no, no, I'm saying if you did, if you did, you can search for videos of like you're in Target where you think you're in private. And there's videos where the employees at Target will take videos of the security screen of people picking their nose, scratching their butt, falling down. Those are all over the internet because people don't realize that even in private, you have no expectation of privacy. So. I understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think that there would be a better way. Like, so but in that way, just hear me out. You, okay, but you don't get to tell people what is a good or bad yeah. way of exercising the rights. What but, I've been okay. hearing about just recently, okay. like if you want to get, just like when you work with kids, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to like speak their language because maybe that I get. Let me finish. Okay. Because sometimes maybe somebody doesn't understand the language that you're speaking. Yes. Right? But how do you teach a kid not to bully? You, you show them an example of being bullied. I understand what you're doing. Yep. But when I walked up, right, and in the society that we live in, I thought there might be a robbery mm -hmm. because of disguise, right? Like, okay, but there's 141 people came out before you didn't think we were robbing the place. Okay. okay. So the point is, is that, like, I get it. It's not mm -hmm. like a bad thing what you're doing. I think it's a good thing, okay. right? But... Give somebody the opportunity. We did. We gave her the opportunity to explain. Because the disguise, okay. it could be scary to somebody that maybe... Just like you asked questions and I've been cordially answering them, she had the opportunity to do that as well. We didn't take an opportunity away from anybody. However, based on the perception of the few, we shouldn't govern the many on that perception. Because you might, because you might think, oh, they're robbing the place. That perception, if we go back before the civil rights movement... Somebody of color couldn't cross the street well, because of because of, I'm just saying, but that's exactly it doesn't matter. It does though. It's the perception that still exists. Have you not seen an old have you not seen an older white lady run across the street because there was just some guy stabbed at Walmart in Lake Elsinore. Which has nothing to do with me. Right. But the point is is that we live in a world where we don't know what to expect. So no, absolutely. Like, maybe like but ask questions. And, but ask questions. And, I mean, if you thought we were robbing the place, would you run in and start calling us names? I didn't think you were robbing the place. Okay, but you you insinuated somebody could see it. Why you'd be hiding behind okay, something but I shared that with you. Why. Okay, but I shared that with you. Yeah, that's now I know why. But if you walk in someplace and you're going to be afraid or fearful, you probably shouldn't walk in insulting them. Totally. 
So, and that's what she did. <laughs> so she can't say, oh, it's fearful or, you know, if she's going to run in and, you know, that's like, come on. I get it. And I wish you luck with your movement. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate the challenging conversation. I don't expect this to be easy and we all learn from each other. It's not just a one way street. So thank you for sharing your point of view. Because I think that because it's like important to you, mm -hmm. there's like a passion behind Absolutely. what you're doing. And sometimes I can get a little riled up with that passion, but it's, you know, and that's, that's just human. You know, just like she's being human when she walked in, decided I'm going to call people names. And I think we'll have much better success. We have great success, actually. But I'm just saying, so, the people yeah. that may be not able to understand you, like with yeah. an open mind. They had an opportunity to ask, though, just like you, you did. You never know that. It has to do with. It takes one more person like that. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And I agree with that. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, good luck, brother. Absolutely. And maybe don't put me on TikTok. I have to put it everywhere, but you've been wonderful and you're gorgeous. So <laughs> oh they're going to love you. <laughs> I'm so camera tired. Um, should I get back in okay. For somebody so camera shy, you sure had a lot of questions, well, which is good. You. you might want to you might want to consider getting on camera and talking about it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm like, just pretend they're all Santa like him. <laughs> now that I'm aware. <laughs> well, now you can't be bashful. <laughs> singing huh what were you singing i was singing how could this happen to me <laughs> stupid. all right my stop mistakes. at the chair oh yeah i forgot we got backs guys we got backs so i shouldn't be having it all, all video but if he moves he loses his back no i probably will have to adjust this couple of but i won't be like <laughs> the whole video hopefully <laughs> We got backs, guys. We got backs. We'll see. All right. As you guys will know, notice behind me, we are positioned a little bit differently on the video today. The reason is we are in a new studio, new green screens, new everything. Um, we have a few adjustments we have to make to the lighting. You'll notice my arm right here is a little light, um, lighter than his arm over there. Minor adjustments. We're going to tweak some of that tomorrow. Let's get right into these phone calls. Management. You want to know what my worst decision I ever made was subscribing to your freaking channel. Perfect. God, you can't shut up. Perfect. Apparently he thinks, wow. uh, apparently he thinks simple talks too much. He's definitely talking about me, guys. He's, he's, yeah. he's, he's not talking about impact over here. He never. he never says a peep. No, I don't in talk. any of our videos, man. I don't talk enough. I don't think, yeah. I have you a question for you guys. Talking. No, he didn't. But anyways, I had a question for you guys. Really good one. What was the worst first date you ever been on? Ever. Worst one. Epic fail. Let me know. Take this next call. Why do you have to be so noisy with it? It's the phone. The phone is, you know. I always blame the damn phone. It's not a phone issue. It's the phone. It's user error. This, look at this. Look at the difference between this. Does this have a cord that you have to, like, come on, and a big old box connected to it? Like, what is all this? <laughs> it's like a generator for the phone. <laughs> the? All right, anyways. <laughs> oh. Management. Hey, this is Joe. I'm calling to Hi, answer Joe. two questions for you. Biggest make mistake in a relationship. There you go. Man, when I was a much younger guy, I used to think I had to check her cell phone to see what was going on when things didn't add up. All right. What I didn't know at the time that I do know now is if you get to the point where you think you've got to check their phone. You're done. The relationship is already over, yep. man, because every relationship, the cornerstone of it's got to be trust. Yeah. It has to be. Absolutely. If you don't have trust in your partner, if you've got to be checking up on them, you're it's done. already over. Done, yeah. Forget about it. The second question, socks or no socks in bed? <laughs> Entirely depends on where you are. Sounds to me like a question made up by somebody who lives in the city or the suburbs. See, out here in the country, <laughs> we're going to probably sleep with our socks on because we got acres out here. 
and might be coyotes, might be a stray animal coming through, might be some unwanted characters walking around on your acres. <laughs> you got to be able to jump up, throw your jeans on, throw your cowboy boots on, and get out the door in 15 seconds. You always <laughs> sleep with socks on. You go on vacation, you're out in the big city somewhere, <laughs> you're more relaxed. You got other people around you in a hotel, this or that, to take care of things. You don't need to be quiet as on your toes. So the answer to your question, socks or no socks, man, that just depends on where you are. I, yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good day. I'm Absolutely. sorry to hear you're going to be going and taking some time off, but I commend you for doing it as long as you have and not popping off anybody in the mouth because there sure has been a whole lot that deserves <laughs> I couldn't do what you're doing. Somebody would get their ass dead. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thanks for the call. I love the, I love that he went all the way through with uh, the cowboy answers here. Um, yeah. Yes, absolutely. The if I lived in the woods, I'd probably want to wear socks in bed. I don't know why. That is understandable. Yeah, I've never really thought it that much through. But the bugs. The bugs. What the fuck? The bugs. What's wrong with your feet? The bugs. You know what, what I mean? Like bugs are going after your foot. Isn't there a lot of bugs in the country? Like when we went to Florida, bro, there's a lot of bugs. I don't know, everywhere. but if you keep swinging that chair, you're going to be sitting on a stool oh. again. This guy. I don't want to sit on a stool again. <laughs> it hurts my back. You have to weld it to the floor so you can't spin it back and forth. Um, I wear socks if I'm in a hotel because I don't like their sheets. Um, they feel really rough. Um, at home, definitely don't wear socks. If I need to throw on some shoes without socks, that would suck. Um, but yeah, don't no socks, no socks at home. Or do you wear socks in bed? No, not usually. I think it's uncomfortable. I mean, me too. I feel like that's too much. With unless socks. it's very cold. Give us a call if you wear socks in bed. Three two three six four five zero four one zero. Weird ass question, but give us a call. 